Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. What I want to talk about in this module is how you can create your own design set and how you can create a theme to add to that design set. So I'm on the design tab and I'm looking at the preset, preloaded design sets. What happens is as you move your mouse across these, you get the name of them and then you get a display of your of your document with that design set. You can see as I move across it's changing each time I do that. So the titles are shifting, the text is shifting all the way across like so. Now you can apply a theme to these design sets. So you can just apply a theme to this default one. So some of these themes are already set up. So for example, if I click on that, you can see that the, the colors slightly change as I go back across there. So that's now changed to that color, even though I'm on the default one, the theme itself is driving that. If I go for yellow, they all change to show yellow as part of the theme. Now, the yellow bit might not be the title, it just might be something on the screen. So it depends what the theme is, and I'll show you how to create that in a second. So I'll pick a different one. These are these are the office ones. And again, it just updates all of these design sets and you get a preview of what that theme would do. And you can see the colors are changing there to reflect that. So to create your own theme, first off, let's do that. Over on the right hand side where it says colors, you've basically got these sets of color uh, ranges that you can select anyhow. These are already preset. And then you can save these as part of a theme, which these probably are already saved as part of themes. But if you can create your own, click in custom colors. So you have these options, text, background, and it's set to black at the moment. If I change that to sort of like light blue or something, you can see how, how it affects different elements of this. I'm going to sort of mess this up a little bit so it's a bit garish. So there's orange for that type of shape. And then if I go for green on that one, now that's a whole background. Now that's gone a bit, that's not doing that. So let's do a bit more. So now you can see how you can lose the plot slightly in terms of your color th schemes. But anyhow, there you go. So let's go for a darker color on that, see if it makes it any better. So, and these are all the, like, the, if you click on that, if I click on this one, these are like the accents of a, of a chart maybe, or a diagram. And you can see how it changes the relevant things, if it does at all. So that just changed that there. Now these two are the similar colour, so if I go black on that one, you can see it changing there. So there's the samples. So I'll call this set of my amazing colours, Steve. And I won't be using it very often, but there you go. So that now has changed the colours already. And if you go back up there, you have it sitting there at the top, Steve. Now if I do that for fonts as well, so if you go down, these are all preset ones as well, if you go down to custom fonts, you can select your own. So that's um, showing you example there. So heading font, I like um, Tahoma, that one. Uh, body font, I also like the same Tahoma. I think it looks nice and I'll call that Steve. Steve save that so i've now changed the font the font that change is reflected across the top and you can see all of those changing so what you do now is you go to themes and then you save that as a theme and i'll call that guess what steve call that steve so i've now got a theme called steve it should sit somewhere there it is so these themes, as I move over them, they're changing. Um, if I click on that one, that's changed all of those design sets. Now if I click on Steve, it changes them all back again. So I've got my theme sorted out. But now I need to do my design set. So let's have a look at what these are set to. So if I go to Home, that's Heading 1. Well, I want to make this a bit stand out a bit. So if I right click on that and update the heading to that so that's now going to be heading one this is heading two i'll do the same thing modify but i'll change a different color on this one so let's go for um 
that's orange let's go for a green see that's that's terrible but never mind and then i'll go for a border on that as well i don't know what goes with green not that well that's all right i quite like that okay now i've, I've got those two and i need to update that one um update heading two to match selection done that no i haven't i've messed that up because i clicked off it let me just undo that so i need to be on that and then update this that's heading two so you can see the changes there at the top that's okay so i'm going back to design in fact i'm also going to make this centered and that's centered as well let's see if i can get away with that so i'm back to design i want to do double paragraph spacing on this so i've come across here go double so everything's double you can see that it, it basically when you drop this down it basically if you hover over it sort of tells you what the settings are so after each paragraph eight points line spacing two points and you've got other options there as well but i'll leave it on that so if you're happy with how it looks there you can then save this as a new style set and let's call this one steve and then okay save that so now you can see that's applied that across there there's steve what i'm going to do is close this document Control w not saving it n and then Control o to open so it comes back as it was there it is now if i go to design there's steve if i click on that it drops it in there and everything is how i saved it so you basically have to make sure you save the styles for the headings correctly and then they'll display correctly and then save the whole design set so that's a quick video of how to create your own design set and also how to create your own theme if i click on steve you see the colors change slightly to the mess that i created when i was doing my own theme which looks terrible so i'd never do that in those colors but there you go that's how you do it and any of these themes that you click will apply to all the design sets not just this one that you've just done so hopefully that little video is of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one